Good morning, good morning, good morning. We're back, and it's uh, February 5th, 2014. We're in the New York session now, and we just had uh, some, some news reports released. Let's take a quick look. Uh, it's uh, just about 9 a.m., or well, it's a little bit before 9 a.m. Uh, we had a release of the ADP uh, report. So uh, let's look at the price action now. So, um, I got a confirmation signal here off uh, level that I was previously looking at. Got price retracing down, uh, expecting for it to go back up. Uh, however, as I look at my other pairs, I'm seeing that uh, Swizzy is uh, showing dollar strength. Yen is showing, you know, possible dollar strength off for reversal down here off the lows, which it has been, you know. So, it's, it's, it's looking like a. Uh, we may get some some dollar strength uh, with in addition to that you know the euro is also in a correlation with the swizzy so if we take a take a closer look or further look you can see that from that news report we got a spike which could be the run and uh, it's looking like price wants to continue on down so with that being said it's looking like this euro may be the better setup you know, just confirming on, on a few few different pairs for dollar strength. Uh, dollar strength on the pound would uh, bring us down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna exit this and uh, just wait for this pending setup here. Just uh, take another look. Yes. So uh, that's my thinking right now. And you know, see how price plays out. But uh, that's 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 where I'm at with it right now. Um, you know what? Uh, change my mind. I've decided to keep this position. Uh, after looking at it, I see that it's had a pretty pretty good point. It's making a it's made a it's possibly making a big W. Um, over the last run, now it could it could blast right through this level, or it could uh. It could, it could reverse back up, but um, you know, I, I, my thoughts are to trade the pattern, trade the pattern, not the pair, not the not, not the correlation at least. You know, and I'm um, trading a pattern. You know, uh, you know, I just I just want to continue to be consistent with trading my pattern. I like these W now. It's, it's looking like it could possibly be making a very huge W, um, which may test again to the bottom right here before it goes up. But um, I'm just going to continue to trade. You know, I got probabilities in my favor. So, you know, if it loses, it loses. And, um, you know, we just be able to recoup that, you know, later down the line. So, you know, this is trading, you know, the decisions you got to make. And, uh, I really like to see the correlation, but today I'm just going to trade the setup. It's a, it's, a, it's a very good setup at a very good level at the 50. So let's uh, let's see what happens. All right, this is actually uh, what ended up happening. The price came down. I didn't get filled. And it ran off uh, to this 20 pips, which would have put me at break even. But it's a not in position at this point. I'm going to take it off. Uh, it's just, a, just unfortunate because uh, earlier today I had a euro position as well that uh, went straight to my target, but uh, I got knocked out of break even. Uh, this other euro position I was looking for just uh, never came back. It took off and just never came back. So, there's some lessons learned here, in particular with this pound trade because um, I could have been in that. I had my uh, entry uh, there, listed at about 62, 62. On in all actuality, 15 pips is 62, 64, which would have been filled. So there was an error there on my behalf that I need to be aware of moving forward. And I uh, just wanted to take note of that. So with that being said, you know, even though it wasn't any 
portray at this point just uh, some notes, some mental notes to uh, keep track of moving forward. So another valuable trading day. Um, not gonna call the day over just yet, but at this point, um, I'm just you know waiting for my alerts. So until next time, happy trading.